let's take it back a little bit and uh, let's take it back to how you got started. Okay. Um, so originally I was an international flight attendant and Sean was a, one of the best dental hygienists in South Florida. So if you yeah, missed out, by his teeth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if you missed out on that, then we're sorry. But, uh, we started two years ago and just been rolling ever since dropping the beat all over South Florida. Why, yeah. why like leave your perspective jobs seems like really cool careers, decent careers uh -huh. to, 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 to go into this field. I feel like um, a healthy version of food trucks was missing in the game, and that's where we came in because the run-of-the-mill food truck is French fries, burgers, pizza, which is all good and stuff, but it was nothing healthy. Where you I would know, have to agree with that because I've been to festivals and different things, and uh, when I started being pescatarian, it literally not mm -hmm. have much to eat but French fries yeah. mm -hmm. would be the only option. You yeah. Know? So that that's really dope. Yeah. So it was frustration on your part as well. Yeah, because we would go out and you know it's just. You try to see the same old thing. So you're like, okay. And I know for a fact she could cook. So, you know, Danny the Creator, shout out to her because um, we, I How'd could literally... you know that she could cook, Sean? Because she hey. cooked for me on some of the first Y'all go together. Hey. You know, so <laughs> for real, for real, it was, um, you know, like I saw what she was doing and she was like bagging smoothies and giving to her friends. And I'm like, yo, this is dope stuff. Like, and I would do my juice and stuff, and it was, like, bitter and, like, just healthy. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, if we, like, merge and, like, really come together, we, we have something here, you know? So Combine hearts and oh, combine yes. recipes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. It's a part of the story, and that's why I bring yeah. it up. You know, a lot of yeah. people, Absolutely. when they uh, go into business and they're doing things, they try to keep everything separate. But I think it's yeah. a beautiful part of the oh, story. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Black love, black business. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Black I love that. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So as long as y'all comfortable with it, we, we on that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so, so tell me about some of the dishes, some of the things that you make and why um so first and foremost uh as sean said we have no fryer on board so even our plantains are baked or grilled um we work a lot with jerk jackfruit because i think with this vegan era coming out people are running to the uh, freezer aisle and they're not realizing that if you take away the meat you have to supplement it with something good you can't just supplement it with junk food and apparently people think the burgers are healthy just because you're not eating meat and they're not you know you explain have to explain that okay so um for instance, like, I'm not knocking the Impossible Burger, but there's a lot of uh, preservatives and things that go into it that aren't necessarily nutritional. And as you can see, if Burger King's doing it in all these places, you should be scared because it's a money grab. Right. So they're like, how do we make money off of these people? And because vegan is the way to go, I feel like that's what's happening, and they're not realizing So they're nutrition. abusing the word plant-based. I feel yeah. like that's, yeah, and everybody's trying to, it, they're just trying to make money off of it. And it's sad because the people that are really interested in it and, mm. like, our community that's not knowledgeable of it, are going to these places and they're not realizing that they're doing more harm to their bodies than than good so wow that's what's up so let's talk about some of these dishes that yes. you actually brought here today okay. you know so um first i want to say we do serve jerk chicken so what we're trying to teach people is incorporate vegan in their diet instead right. of judging what you eat just eat healthier of whatever you're going to eat take gotcha. out the oils and gotcha. stuff like that so with that being said one of our hot sellers are the jerk chicken quesadilla. Yep. It's fire. Um, then we have our... But that one has actual chicken in it. Yeah, that has real. chicken, yeah. Original so. Jamaican jerk chicken. Not gotcha. that baked <laughs> oven stuff that, you know... Huge smoker yeah, that we right. pull everywhere. You've probably seen us on the road. But um, we smoke it authentic, and we do it off the truck. The vegan's on the truck, so we just kind of serve it out the window. So even so. in respect of how you conduct your business, you do it in respect for people and, Absolutely. You know, and how they... Green knives, green um, tongs, green bucket of green, like, pots and pans. Sean even added a different grill in there, so it's completely separate. So our integrity is so intact, yes. and you can trust us when you come. So. That's beautiful. That's yeah. beautiful. So I see a bunch of stuff here. You want okay. to so... We got the, of course, Jamaican meat vegan with the jerk jackfruit, okay. but the jerk chicken nice, so we have to come with the jerk chicken bowl. Too, you know? <laughs> so uh, we have that, and then the jerk chicken quesadilla, and then, of course, how we started our smoothies, so we kind of brought some of everything. Talk about your smoothies. Truly all natural, so no artificial flavors, no syrup, none of that, you know, ice and no none of that stuff. So it's 100% like either fruits or vegetable or a combination of both. And then we just use a coconut milk base, so it's uh, truly okay. vegan. You know. So what are the different flavors you have here? So right now we have the Island Sunrise, which is like one of the number one sellers. And, Could you um, pass me that, please? Oh That's yeah, most definitely. Well, pass them the vegan conch salad that was created by Reggae Beats as well. Really? Yes, yeah. please yes, pass we have the vegan conch salad. salad. <laughs> so, you know, Island thing. So. Mm -hmm. so this is completely vegan. How do you get it to taste so good? 
Real it's all natural. Real, real um, so, everything. Yeah, so I our know milk the real is... everything tastes like trash. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's all processed, like some of the chemicals and stuff, and like the preservatives and stuff. So how do you sweeten you this? Know, we use coconut milk. Fruits and the coconut. And then milk. it's just those are three primary fruits, which mm -hmm. is uh, mango, pineapple, banana. So pineapple. Yeah. Pineapple. Yeah. Yeah. So those are natural fruits, and it's a, like it's a it's a science behind it. So you don't just throw a bunch of mango. Pineapple and banana in the blender. It's measured out. It's measured out incrementally, and then that's how you know how you accent what flavors and then what is the primary fruit. It's pineapple's the nectar, so that's going to be the sweetening. So most of our smoothies have pineapple, but not in the amount to um, up your sugar. You know, you're not going to get gotcha. diabetes off of it, gotcha. but it's enough to sweeten it that you don't have to add anything. You're very proud about this. Talk I'm about very that. proud. Okay, so... My vegan conch salad, um, I, I actually have to give credit to my mom. Uh, she has a place called Island Fusion Grill by the Hard Rock. But her and I created this. Give the address and, and yeah, the so about. she does a little more of a, a traditional one. I do more of a trendy one. But we uh, came up with substituting. Is that a lychee? That is yeah. a lychee. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. But what does it look like? It looks yeah, real, right? Yeah, it looks like, a, looks like a, either a shrimp or a conch yeah. or something. Oh, my so gosh. So at Reggae I love Beats, lychee. what we're trying to do is get creative. But lychee creative. tastes so good like this. I know yeah. we have lychee in a drink or something like yeah. that, a martini or whatever. <laughs> it's so good like yeah, this. Yeah, because the scotch bun and the, the flavors, we do cut the sweetness. And then the, the texture mimics conch. Yeah. And the, yeah. the color and everything, so... And then you don't have the iodine, yeah. you don't have the um, the seafood taste to it. Because a lot of people are like, oh, vegan conch salad. I'm like, what does conch really taste like besides right. all of the great stuff that come with it, you know? So, mm. But I am very proud that of that. That is so creative. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that is the creator, man. She, she invented so it. This is so. really, 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 really good. This Thank is you. so good. Yeah, man. So, and that's with everything on our menu. What we're going to try to do is... We don't do any soy. We don't use any fake why not? products. Tell me why. For me, soy is just a filler. Um, I feel like if you can cook good, it's 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 easy to do soya chunks and tofu and all that, and not knocking anybody that eats it, you know, because we don't mm -hmm. really judge. But for us, we want to stay more completely plant based. If it's not a fruit, vegetable, uh, a bean, or a grain, we don't really want to use it. So um, that's the the fun part of reggae beats is that we are figuring out ways to make it interesting. Like if you come to a plant-based festival, you can right. get our lobster mac, which we use uh, like coconut. We soak in beet for the lobster. Mm -hmm. And then we also do like hearts of palm. And mm -hmm. we just play with it yeah. completely where you're like wowed or people are trying to guess. Like you got it right on. You drink too many martinis. Yeah. <laughs> so, let me, uh, <laughs> so let me ask you this. <laughs> you too much, D. So let me ask you this. So is it a situation like when they have the vegan festivals mm -hmm. or the healthy festivals, your food truck goes crazy, or do you, you know, I, 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 could, I could assume that. It's a little bit of both. For, for vegan festivals, absolutely. It's, mm -hmm. you know, we, we kind of have a vibe. So we, we change the status quo of what a food truck should look like and or operate like. Because mm -hmm. we have a, what I call myself the DJ cashier, because I'm outside. Because, again, like, being a dental hygienist, I'm a German folk, right. right? So if I'm touching money. Is, th is that, is, is that comes with that? Oh, yeah, big okay. time. <laughs> so you won't meet a single dental hygienist that's not a German folk. But the cleansiness of, of our integrity and what we do, like I'm touching money, I don't want to be touching food, you know. So I'm outside and I have my little DJ. I'm not no Papa Keith with it, but <laughs> <laughs> I got my DJ booth set up and I'm playing music and it's an atmosphere, it's a vibe, you know. So it's not just a and it and really go. goes with the whole reggae beats. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, gotcha. So, um, you know, Double when you come up, and with beats, mm -hmm. and dropping the beat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, we put beats in our smoothies. Actually, one of our number one seller. We didn't bring today, but it's our cool runnings. It's mango, pineapple, strawberry, banana, beets, and ginger. Nice. And it's fire. So that upgraded. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Got you. So we this just, is so cool. Yeah, we just yeah, do we... it a little different. Like, you're not going to see a food truck out there like us. Like, our conch salad, there are people that are trying to do the same thing, but people still come to Reggae Beats because they know where it's originated. They know that we put our soul into it. So mm. Well, since you, your restaurant moves every day, how yeah. do people connect with you? If you follow us on Instagram at Reggae Beats with two mm -hmm. E's like the vegetable, uh, the link in the bio pulls up our daily location. Mm. But if you go on our website, reggaebeats.com, there's a full calendar for like the whole year, address, date, time. And once you click the actual date, it will pull up your Google Maps or. And people you know, can book Maps. you when they want to have yeah. a healthy oh, yeah. thing. They want to come to, you know, corporations and mm -hmm. stuff when they want to do. Like the Super Bowl for their day. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Talk about some of the items that you brought here today. Daniel. Uh, I'll start off by the one you enjoy the most. That is our vegan conch salad. But y'all went ill with it. Like, it really looks like a conch salad. Uh-huh. And then you put a special fruit in it uh -huh. that really tasted like it was a conch, but it's not. Uh-huh. 
That is so creative and dope. Yeah, so we want you guys to come by the truck and try to guess what it is so that yeah, you, you can know how to say, say what it is, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm with y'all. We right here. <laughs> so, so, yeah. so talk about some of the other dishes you have here in front All of All right, me. so the one we haven't gotten to yet is our jerk jackfruit bowl. Um, we serve it with Jamaican rice and peas and on a bed of spinach with grilled and or baked plantain. Did you bring that? Oh, we did, yes. That's yeah, pass that real quick. Yeah. Need that in my life right there. All right, so how can people connect with y'all? You know what I mean? Uh, you can find us on Instagram at Reggae Beats. So that's Beats Like the Vegetable with two E's. And or you can go on our website, ReggaeBeats.com, to find our different locations on our online calendar or book us for different events. All right, give them the, uh, give them the Instagram again. So that's Reggae Beats, R-E-G-G-A-E-B-E-E-T-S. And then the website is reggaebeats.com. And you do corporate stuff. You oh, do yes. private parties. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we're on a different level with it because of our cuisine. You know, it's not that oil-based stuff. It's real healthy, real, you know, original. So we recently were like a VIP vendor for the Super Bowl, Super Bowl Live at Bayfront Park. We do a lot of corporate events. Well, congratulations um, on that. Yeah, thank thank you. Give you out your number, yeah. too, man. Give yes, out your number uh, real 954 954-895-2360. Or 561-584-0179. All right, Reggae Beats Gourmet Food Truck. Big up to Sean and Dan.